Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. I got a little bit of sunlight before it gets dark, and I'm kind of racing the time clock. So I'm going to set this up real quick and see if I can get a few cuts made. This is a 48 inch long economy brand uh, crosscut saw. They call this a one man because it can be operated by one person. I know, it probably should be a one person saw, but the name's the name. One nice thing about silver maples, they're light. I got three cuts done before I ran out of steam. Probably getting old. Don't have quite the energy that I did. But we're working through it. Did a nice job of cutting through. Had that saw up for sale on eBay for about six months. Seems like nobody wants to have a one-man crosscut saw. But I guarantee if you have that you'll never run out of gas. Might run out of steam you won't run out of gas. I 
Next winter, I'm going to have that sitting on the side porch there, filled up with wood. I can use the engine hoist on the back of the tractor to pick it up loaded and haul it around here and set it on the porch. That way I won't have to walk all the way back and drag this stuff through the deep snow. But for right now, I'm not going to fill it up because all I'd have to do is unload it and move it back to the back. Before I end up standing out here breathing heavy any longer, I'm going to go in the house and sit down take a rest. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop it out in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.